it should be obvious that AND, OR, and NOT are the only Boolean operations you need to compute any arbitrary Boolean function. Another way of thinking of this is that if you have a truth table and you fill out the result column to contain any sequence of zeros and ones, I should be able to find some combination of AND, OR, and NOT on the inputs that gives me that result. In fact, you should see if you can prove that result yourself. We call this, therefore, a functionally complete set of operations. However, you may be surprised to find that NAND and NOR each individually are also functionally complete. This means that anything I can do with a combination of AND, OR, and NOT gates, I can also do using only NAND gates or only NOR gates. This is a useful fact because it ends up being simpler and cheaper in some cases to fabricate digital circuits using only one type of gate. Therefore, this is commonly done in real computers. Let's demonstrate how NAND can be used to compute any of these results. So in order for NAND to be functionally complete, I must somehow be able to compute NOT AND and OR using only NAND gates. So, if I have an input signal A, and I want my final result to be not A, then I can compute that result using NAND gates as follows. A is coming in on some electrical line. I then split A into two copies of itself. So this is A, and this is also A. I then put that result into a NAND gate, and the result that comes out, according to how NAND is defined, will be the negation of A and A. But because anything ANDed with itself is that original input, this is equivalent to simply not A. So we've computed NOT using only a NAND gate. Let's do the same for AND. So if I have two input signals now, A and B, I can compute the result A and B by first putting them through a NAND gate. This, of course, computes the negation of A and B. And if I only want A and B, I can then take this result, duplicate it, so each of these lines has not A and B and not A and B on it, and put those two copies into a NAND gate. Now the output here, looking at the inputs, will be the negation of the inputs, which are not A and B, and not A and B. Now there are several ways to simplify this. I could simply notice that this sub-expression and this sub-expression are identical. Therefore, when I AND them together, the result is their negation. But now I have two nots. And so using the double negation law, my final result is simply A and B. And that is the output there. 
Now let's go ahead and compute OR down here. And this one will require a few more gates. I have an input of A and another input of B. I want to compute A or B. And the way I'll do that is by first duplicating A and sending it through a NAND gate and duplicating B and sending it through a NAND gate. And so this is exactly what I did here to get the negation of the input. So looking at this previous result, we know that the result here is not A and the result here is not B. And now if I combine these results with another NAND gate, then the output will be the negation of the AND of these two inputs. So the negation of the AND of not A and not B. But using De Morgan's law, this is equivalent to A or B. Or if we want to be strict with our steps, it's equivalent to not not A or not not B, which through double negation equals A or B. So this is the result we get as output there. So once again, this means that anything I can do with these three operations, I can do using only NAND, so long as I use the right combination of NAND operations. Now this is done because it is easier to fabricate circuits using only a single gate, but of course it takes more gates to compute simple operations. However, keep in mind that when computing more complex Boolean functions, we may be able to find ways to simplify the result using Boolean algebra and use even fewer gates than might initially seem necessary. You can do something similar to this using NOR gates, but I will leave that for you to do on your own.